What we're about is creating what we hope will be an internationally recognised centre for sustainable processing, for advanced manufacturing, for new forms of energy which is low carbon in essence and content. In less than 12 months this space will be the 10 tonne industrial biotechnology demonstrator facility. It's about making things more inexpensively, greener, faster, better both the processes and the products. We aspire to be world-class um, because without being world-class we can't offer things to companies. We have an aspiration of being one of the four dots on the world map so that when you are thinking about where you want to work you automatically think about the Centre for Process Innovation. The National Industrial Biotechnology Facility extension will take place in here. When we've built this facility in here we'll have invested over 55 million pounds in assets to let industry develop the next generation of products and processes with us. Fundamentally we see industrial biotechnology as a route to unique products but it's really only over the last few years that we've recognised that industrial biotechnology has a real potential to be a disruptive technology in our core markets and that being the case we'd rather be involved in the disruption than be disrupted by it. I think that it's now clear that industrial biotechnology is vitally important to the future economy of the UK. I believe that the products and processes are central to securing sustainable development in the 21st century. So we're building up facilities to give scientists and businesses the space and the time to test out novel solutions to previously intractable problems. We talked about the plug and play facilities this reconfigurable way of thinking is central to our thinking. What we can actually do is develop process packages, integrated designs, fully integrated systems, which in essence will produce projects which are fundable, which are commercial, which are economic, and which are technically de-risked. There's a big facility around fermentation, a 10 working ton vessel for both anaerobic fermentation and aerobic fermentation and then a whole range of plug and play downstream processing. So that might allow us to use a range of tanks that we could use for simple crystallization through to filtration and drying, or for example, as a distillation suite plan, which will enable us to get out relatively volatile molecules. We've worked across a whole range of different sectors. We've worked with small companies, with global giants, startups. We've established spin-outs. We're on target, we're on cost. We actually intend to have this facility commissioned and ready to roll by the middle of November. So we're providing 12 million pounds to support the development here of the National Industrial Biotechnology Pilot Plant Facility. It will enable UK firms to develop and scale up novel manufacturing processes for the production of high value added chemicals based on biotechnological techniques. The risk averseness of the industry would say that we need baby steps, we need uh, capability to develop and introduce and do experiments to actually prove the market rather than take a big challenge and change. And I'm delighted to be here today at the launch of this facility because I think facilities like this offer industry the opportunity to de-risk the process and allow us to make those changes more, more compelling. We aspire to be your innovation partner. That is what we're here to do. That is what we want to do. We want to help you develop your next generation of products and processes in industry.